All right, in this video, we're gonna discuss sitting with the guitar or the importance of posture while holding your guitar, sitting, playing, and practicing. The very first thing that's important and you definitely wanna note is you wanna make sure that your feet can touch the ground. So if you're on like a tall stool and your feet are dangling, that's not really ideal. That's gonna ultimately cause things like posture issues or the guitar to be uneven on your lap and it might feel un like unbalanced, maybe like it's tipping or falling. And we can avoid a lot of these problems by just simply making sure that our feet are on the ground first. The second thing that we wanna make sure that we're doing is going to be making sure that we're sitting on the edge of our chair a little bit. So you don't have to be on the complete edge where you feel like you're falling off, but you don't wanna be sitting way back here, almost like you're just kinda of laying back casually. That's not gonna be any good for eventually what we need to do when we put the guitar on our lap. So make sure you're on the edge of the chair. Again, finding a good chair or a sitting area is really important, obviously, for keeping those feet on the ground and for being able to sit on the edge uh, just a little bit. In terms of actual sitting posture, a lot of people are gonna say you need to sit up really, really straight. But ideally, that's not gonna be the case long term. You're gonna slouch a little bit naturally, and I'm not saying it's great to just slouch like crazy, but if you naturally slouch over your guitar a little bit, it's okay. It's not a big deal. If your back is starting to hurt, then maybe yes, you should probably work on sitting up a little bit more, but you do wanna have some pretty good posture sitting up. If you naturally slouch as you practice, don't worry too much about it unless it's causing you discomfort in your lower back. Once you're seated properly, now we can discuss how we wanna actually have our guitar placed um, on our lap when we're playing. What we're gonna wanna do first is if you're, I'm gonna just give an example, if you're right-handed, I want you to go ahead and place your guitar on your lap on the right side, on your right leg. Now, one thing to note is definitely don't have it on the very edge of your leg. And then, cause what happens is people like to kinda let it drift back and kinda lay at this angle at first if they don't know any better. What you wanna do is have it on the very back of your right leg. That's why we have this groove on the guitar body is so that we can just place it comfortably on our lap. Now, we'll know that we're comfortable when you can pass this test. If you have the guitar, obviously on the back side of your right leg, if you're right-handed, you know, you're sitting with your feet on the ground, on the edge of your seat upright, if you can simply rest your guitar without any hands and just simply allow your arm, which is where it's gonna be when you're playing and practicing anyway, to drift over the top a little bit and just hold the balance, right? You can totally control the guitar with that arm. If it feels like it's falling, it may just be because you're really new to it at first, but long-term it shouldn't. You should have all of these steps pretty much mastered every time you sit and play after a little while and the guitar should just feel like one. It should just feel like it's kind of a part of you as you play and practice. So definitely make sure that you go through these steps, especially if you're a beginner guitar player. After a couple of sit down practice sessions, you'll start to notice that it's becoming really comfortable. One tool that I wanna discuss, and it's completely optional, is gonna be this foot rest. Now, the reason I bring this up is sometimes for some of my students, if they maybe have shorter legs or they're just not too comfortable having their legs on the ground, it just feels like it's not a very natural thing. Sometimes I introduce this to them and it's pretty neat. It's I think 15 or 20 bucks on Amazon and it just folds out. Let's see if I can do this quick. And it kind of just attaches at any angle that you want it. And what you can do is place it on the floor and you can prop your foot on the top. So even when I do this, if you can see at this angle, my guitar is much closer to me. It's been risen up and that can be really comfortable at first and there's no issue with that. So if that's something you wanna try, it's definitely worth the investment of just trying it out. It's like I said, 15, maybe $20 online. It's a good idea. What you'll maybe see people do, especially as classical guitar players, maybe in movies or on YouTube, is sometimes you'll see them place it and place their left foot on it. So we'll see what that looks like. Okay, once I place my left foot on it, obviously it does no use, but that's when people feel more comfortable placing their guitar on the left side. But ultimately what I'm wanting to get at is that with the majority of my students, pretty much all of my students, I like to teach them with the basic beginning method that I showed you earlier in this video. But if you wanna try to sit the, we'll call it the classical guitar way, or if you wanna place a footstool on the right side just to raise up your guitar, that's no problem at all. Do what works best. But ultimately be open to letting it kind of evolve into what it needs to just to make sure that you're comfortable playing your guitar.